welcome back to another tip video of the CMR Marketi. In this case, uh, it's going to be a short one. I'm going to talk about two things we have added in the in the CMR Marketi. The video is going to be this short, but the development was not short. <laughs> so, um, first of all, one thing that a lot of users asked, well, both things a lot of users asked, and we are very proud to introduce the uh, Totorico. Thank you to Totorico uh, Rain Effect. You can now check out the uh, the Rain Effect you have. You already can download it from the uh, up updates uh, if you already uh, bought it uh, from the Skuncraft updater, and it will introduce the the, the new rain. Um, effect into the canopy that of course it's uh moving with the canopy and uh it's an effect they are there the particles no one no, not particles they are effect maybe you are thinking it is not so nice isn't it because it's not raining so much well it um <coughs> it depends on the rain that is uh happening in the in the aircraft there is uh, i will talk something about that um, for example, if we put more rain, you can check out how uh, this drastically uh, change the way it's the, the drops are are in the windshield. As, you, as I said, you can open it and it's going to be there. Okay, and well, now you have this amazing Rain effects by Totorico, as I said, this is not ours. Uh, this is Totorico rain effects uh, that he very kindly uh, produce and 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 share with all the community, with every plane, either payware or free uh, freeware. And now you have the possibility to have, as you can see, there are different behaviors. Well, this is more tricky than you think. Okay. And this reminds me when I wanted to put the reins in, in, in the windshields of the planes because, uh, uh, well, people thought that it was a nice uh, thing to add, but something just for visual. And it's not visual, it's simulation also, because as you can see, you don't see anything. So you have to be very careful and you have to manage with, if you have a very big rain, you have to manage with uh, the the controls, the IFR controls to, to manage your plane, okay? So, um, one to the trick is not, uh, this is, the tip, the tip is not the, the rain, it's it's okay, you, you will find it if you, you download it. The tip is about, we managed to put the old one also. Why we did that? I will explain, okay? If we, you go to the encoders, rep, and the settings, okay? Here you will find the, that is a good way to know that you have the rain effect uh, updated. The advanced rain uh, effect, okay? If you change it, you will see how it is the all rain plus the, the, the effect of the, of the old um, ice. That I have to say that I like a lot, this old ice. Of course, the, the rain is very poor, in, very poor, poor effect compared with this new rain. I'm going to uh, change the because, as you can see, it's, it's producing ice in the, in the tips of the winds. Uh, this comes because I put the, the test of of making the. I don't know if you knew it, but uh, this ice is coming little by little. This is 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 forming in the front of the. You will see now if we <coughs> just put the temperature to something that is more um, warm you see the melt is melting in the, in the tips of the winds and here it's melting totally so if you want to for example to to have the old the old rain and the old ice forming then you have the option two and I will explain two reasons why you should do that okay okay um why you should uh put the uh, old uh, raining effects and 
sometimes and the, and the icing effect. Um, well, two reasons you have. First of all, well, three reasons you have. One of them is because uh, the performance, it has a little heat of performance, okay? Uh, little, but it has it, has it, so you have a computer that it's not good enough, then you make one to use the other one to preserve the frames per second. You can do it on live, as uh, you saw. The second reason is because it's developed for OpenGL, okay? Once uh, Vulkan uh, uh, development is uh, released uh, with a new engine, then it's going to, it's going to be stop working. It's not be working anymore. Uh, I think Laminar, and I hope Laminar is going to release the Explain 11 version with um, two uh, uh, launchers with OpenGL and Vulkan, so you could still use these effects in OpenGL, but not in Vulkan. Uh, for example, if you have better performance in Vulkan, you are going to go to Vulkan and you are going to lose these raining effects. All depends on Totorico, Hot Start, uh, uh, developer team, to release a uh, new uh, libraries to be compatible with Vulkan. In this case, you would lose, uh, in the meantime, you will lose the that rain effect, so you have to choose the all rain if you want to have some kind of rain in the, in the, in the, in the windshield, okay? And the third one is because VR. In VR, uh, when you put the Googles, you won't see this effect. We cannot change it because somebody asked to change and include it into the into uh, VR, but it's not possible for us because it depends on the library that uh, Totorico makes. So, well, uh, up to him if he changes or not, or if it's possible or not, maybe it's not possible. He's making another effect more coo cooler, that is one, uh, raining, I hope he shared, with the drops more behaving like the trails they leave, the, the water, it's very, very cool, very cool, and we hope include them in the, in the, in the, new, in the new version updates of the, of the plane. But in the case of VR, you are not going to see it, so if you want to see any uh, uh, icing effect or uh, icing effect or, or rain effect in the Wilson, then you have to choose the the, the all uh, rendering all uh, raining. That is not going to have any performance issue at all. Uh, the icing is going to still occur here in the in the stereo independently of, of the winds. Independently, if you have the wind seal or the the, the advance we uh, raining or not. Okay, no problem at all. Of course, uh, if you want to see, have any visibility, then you have to go and, and put the the, the giants. And once you put the giants, They are going to be clean. Okay. More or less. Okay. Another thing that um, uh, I was talking about in the video it was the introduction of the GTN 750. There is something that uh, it was talked a uh, long time and asked to be included. The only thing you have to go, it's uh, of course, you have to switch off the you go to here, as you can see this is the new uh, economic system. Go to the no GPS here in this option, the Appionix types, and just select this is the 650, the GTN 650, there you have to have the real TXP one, and then you have now the new uh, GTN 750, the new, it's not new for reality, but you have the option to include it here in the, in the, in the in the avionics. Okay, once you include it, the only thing you have to do is, of course, you have to give power to the avionics. That you can give power, I'm going to display something because some, some people ask. Okay, I'm going to switch it off, this one, and the battery. And there are people that are asking why I have in, uh, avionics power inside of the, and I don't have the battery. It's because maybe you have this one. That is a second battery. Okay, a second battery it has the plane. That you can have the the option to to have uh, in case of emergency. 
Sometimes it's sub, so you have to take care of that. Okay, so you have the Garmin, as usually. Any, if you don't hear any sounds, you have to go to the sound settings on the Garmin here. That is on the system, I think. I don't remember systems. And then volume. And how would you hear? And then put it, this in the 100%. And then you are going to hear the, the click sounds, okay? Once you have that, Okay, of course you have the normal I'm not going to explain because this is not a product of mine, but it's uh, uh, um, support for this this product. Of course you guys you can do the the changes to we modify it to include the animation of the of the buttons as you can see here. They are moving. Okay, or whatever. This one's also in the 650, it was not produced and now it's produced. The new update do you have already now? You can have it now. Then uh, you will see that this. If you have the also bought the Reality XP 650, it's not going to follow any autopilot. Why? Of course, first of all, you have to put in in the GPS here, but it's not going to follow here. We don't have any bore station, but it's not going to follow. So what you have to do, the tip is this one. You have to go to your Reality XP. In this case, I have both of them. Okay, as you can see here, I have the 650 that is also there because in this, it's it's like it was there but it's hiding. Okay, so in case you want to follow the GPS, then you have to choose the GTN2, the 750, and make a master device. As you saw, something happened here. Now with this master device, then you have the option to uh, follow the GPS and everything, blah, 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 and choose the whatever radio station and be reflected here in the board. If you want to return to the 650, because you want to have, as you see, you lost the, the, the audio panel, no problem with the audio panel because you have it here, okay? But if you want to return or intercom, uh, okay, you have it here. If you want to return to the other one because you lose also the the... the, the the, the, the cool uh, uh, the cool transponder that makes all the functions and because I usually I don't have the chronometer that I usually use in the in the transponder and I have to use this right now okay I have to use this um, this chronometer put in, in the time I want for example 10 minutes or nine minutes and then this this line is going to be this needle is going to be pointing each minute. Then I prefer this uh, digital one that it ha I had in the in the in the transponder, so I can choose it. Of course, I can return. Of course, this only when the engines are not running, because if not, this menu is not going to appear. Okay, I can choose the um, 650. Okay, but again, if you want to have uh, it uh, ruling the autopilot, uh, then you have to go here. And GTN, system test okay. And you have to put it in the master device because the master device is going to be the 750. So you put it in the master device, and now it's going to rule the the autopilot. Now we will have the the old one, the old. Uh, also, you can have the the here the audio, but it's more convenient to have here more quickly, clear here in the bottom. That is the the reason I left it. And of course, you have here the functions to put the. The, the, the starting time that I prefer in my flights, in my BFR flights, to to run the legs I want to. Okay. Introduce also now we have now we I have the transponder. Now I have the transponder. Uh, I didn't mention in the previous flights. You can now program your own um, your own code uh, selection. Okay. So that way the only the only thing you have to do is uh, press function several times press it several seconds then you have this option okay this this new menu and then you go to the um, to the this cursor the cursor you select it here and for example you want to put in uh, Europe the default one 7000 okay it's not already on then uh, we just uh, switch it off pressing several seconds and then press it on Press it seven seconds again. And then when we press the default VFR, it's going to be the one, the new one that you set it. To. So you can set up your code, uh, VFR code, in this menu. That we added and I didn't mention before because it was uh, one of the developments. It was produced uh, after that video. So I hope you enjoyed uh, with the new, um, with the new, 
GTN 750, if you have it, of course, bought for Reality XP. The new raining and good flights. I hope you like it and please subscribe and enjoy the plane and support us with this buying this plane because it's, it's producing. We are trying to make uh, new changes in the plane uh, to introduce to other people and well, thank you. Ciao, ciao.